Good morning everyone! It's Sunday morning and you are deservingly in your bed right now and I'm working because it's range test time. This is the Kia EV9 all-wheel drive GT line and to, now we're gonna do 130 kilometers an hour range test. I put all the data of the car in here, also the tire size. These are 21 inch tires with 285, they're gigantic. It's cold today, I was right last week when I did my 650 kilometer range test with the with my ID7 Hank, I thought it would be the last day with above 20 degrees and I was right, I think, because it's October next week and today it's 4 degrees here in the morning and uh, it looks like next week it's gonna be the same. So I was lucky that I got another 20 degree day, but uh, today it should maximum be like 13 degrees or 11, something like this. But we're starting here at Iona Team, charging to 100%. At 93%, I still got 85 kilowatt. Now at 96, I still get 45 or something. This is awesome. That's amazing charging power for a tester like me. <laughs> I always like that. Yeah, we'll see. I will drive uh, with climate and driver only, but I want it warm, so I will have seat heating uh, on, and I will have the temperature at a reasonable time. I preheated the battery at home via the app. Um, I will drive in eco mode. We'll see what we get. We have a big battery in there. We are on our way, driving 132 on the speedometer. That's 130 GPS speed, already drove 16 kilometers. I have cruise control on, self-steering. I have the climate on 23 and a half degrees in auto and driver only. I'm in eco mode. Heat is taking 1.2 kilowatt. Uh, electronics, I have the seat heater on as well and uh, yeah it's foggy that's bad <laughs> because maybe i have to slow down if, when it comes to safety but right now it's okay let's keep it that way at 75% and I drove 81 kilometers that's then 324 kilometers consumption is 336 that's pretty high it's five degrees out there when I started it was like seven degrees heat is still on 23 and a half but it doesn't feel hot in here I have to check it on and everything the seat heater and you can see my heat is taking still 1.2 kilowatt um, it's just a driving. It's a tank <laughs> and it needs some power and it's not cold or warm. I'm at 50% and I drove 157 kilometers, that's 314 kilometers. So the range goes down, consumption went up, I think, was it higher before? 331 watt hours per kilometer. Still at the same settings, I tried 30 degrees in here, but it was too cold. Uh, 23, 30. <laughs> 23 instead of 23 and a half, but it got too cold. It's, it's, it's not, it's just a big 
a big space in here and you just need a bit of warm air going towards you. It's 7 degrees out there right now. All good. Heat is taking still a kilowatt or so. This is not the main thing for the high consumption. It's just the car. And I'm in eco mode. That means that the rear wheels, uh, rear, uh, the front motor is not doing anything. It's just the rear motor. Um, yep. And it's still foggy and then nice and sunny always in it switches around the whole time. I like the range display though. I drove 157 kilometers with 50% and I have 168 kilometers of range at 50%. That's pretty close. I like that. Good job. I'm on my way back. <laughs> the car doesn't even tell me the state of charge I arrived with it because before it told me 2% now. Uh, uh, before it said 9% and I was like, come on, that, that should be no problem. I drove 157 kilometers with 50%. Now you only want to drive 60 kilometers. So that was weird. Um, but I guess it thinks my consumption will be way higher on the way back, which I don't think so. I think it will go down. I think it will arrive with 15 or higher percent. We'll see. What can I say? How is the Kia EV9 on the highway at 130? Loudness, it's not the quietest car, but it's totally fine. I'm comfortable in here. I like the seats. I like the leg space. So when you don't or not on the gas pedal the whole time, if you, if you just put your leg to the side or something, it's nice and comfortable. I have enough storage. I see everything. The assist systems are all okay. Yes, the self-steering the cruise control is great way better by the way than the ionic 5n where when i sped up by the with the the gas pedal and then get off it was slower than the set speed and then went up again which was stupid this doesn't do that um the, the steering assist is not amazing so right now it's perfect but sometimes it's it's looking and and then it's too far left and too right too much right eh, not a biggest fan I, and, and when it comes to cornering so when you drive 130 and it's a corner i don't trust it at all i, I have to hold the steering wheel and and see what it's doing sadly yeah other than that it's nice i can see that i have 72 kilometers to the charger i have 117 kilometers of range that's 45 kilometers of margin should be fine heat is taking only 700 watt now i it's eight degrees out there and sunny that helps so uh, navigation looks okay and i can have it in the home screen as well it always goes to this and then I see it here, I see it in my head-up display. It's all pretty nice. If you need a charging solution for your trip through your country or through all of Europe, then Mangao Autostrom got you covered. With Mangao, you can charge over 550,000 charging stalls all over Europe. You can start your charging process with a card, with this tiny little chip that's so tiny and small, or with the app. The app has a great design. You can see a lot of things. You can see all of the chargers. You can see how much power they offer, pictures of the chargers, and you can also filter the whole charging map for specific power so 50 kilowatt 100 kilowatt 150 kilowatts and so on you can see if the chargers are occupied or broken if you want to know more there's a link in the description below i arrived with 10 percent um, and drove 270.6 kilometers google maps tells me it's 275 kilometers average consumption 327 watt hours per kilometer if I take the 275 kilometers that Google Maps tells me and that I arrived with 10% and I started with 100%, I get to 304 kilometers of range with a 96 kilowatt hour usable energy battery. That's 
Not amazing. <laughs> Consumption was really high, but it's a tank. Look at this gigantic thing that's box shaped and has space for this car six people, but you can have it for seven people as well. And has a lot of power, all wheel drive, and gigantic tires. Here's all the data that you can see. The temperature didn't change much. It was from 5 degrees to 7 degrees or so. Or oh, 8 degrees was in the middle once with a bit of sun. Here now, now we are cloudy again, so weather is not amazing. Uh, I will do a charging test here now, and then we charge back to 90%, and then we're going to do a range test at 110 kilometers an hour. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Battery Life 1, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.